Welcome to this overview of Talc, an open source competency authoring platform created by the lab at Extension Engine. This video will provide some background information on the project, give you a tour of the application, and then give some information on getting involved. Let's get started. In short, Talc is a tool designed to facilitate the creation of a competency map, which is one of the initial challenges of creating a CBE program. It's an open source project that we hope makes a significant contribution and moves the CBE field forward. The project is open source and we are actively seeking collaborators. We'll talk more about this at the end of the video. These are some of the key features of Talc that we will be taking a look at. First, users are able to define their own node taxonomy in the competency map. The hierarchy is flexible, enabling nodes to be linked in different ways. Talc features a catalog view of all created competencies. Users can create, browse, edit, and delete nodes within a competency map. Competency maps can be viewed in three different ways. Map authors are able to discuss specific aspects of the map via the platform, and the platform enables basic user management. In a moment, we'll jump into the product, but before we do, here is a bit of context in terms of the initial roadmap. What we are about to see is version 0.1, which implements the basic competency map authoring features. Let's take a look at the project. The first view after logging in is the catalog, which allows us to access all of the competencies we have created so far. On each tile, there is a brief description of the competency, as well as an indication of the number of nodes in the competency, the number of assessments, and the number of goals. The search bar can be used to filter for specific competencies. To create a new competency, click the Add button. In the modal window, enter the name and description of the new competency. Click on a competency to begin editing it. In the editor, there are three views. This first is the browser view. The left pane displays the name of the competency and the topics and learning goals within that competency. The center pane displays the list of skills associated with the selected learning goal. In the next release, the center pane will also contain assessment items tagged to the selected node. You can add nodes in this view by clicking the Add button. The right pane in this view enables you to edit or delete the selected node. You can also edit skills directly in the center pane by double-clicking. You can leave or respond to comments from other editors related to the selected node. Within the header of each competency map, you can see the other users who are currently editing this map. If they have selected a specific node, you can see a small icon indicating which one they have selected, which reduces conflicting edits. Any changes by another user will be immediately propagated to all other users. The second available view of a competency map is the graph view. As with the browser view, nodes can be added, edited, or deleted. This view makes it easier to visualize the hierarchy of nodes. It's also important to note that the names of each node level can be customized depending on the project, as can the number of levels within the hierarchy. There are three versions available in the graph view, the tree view, circle view, and matrix view. The third and final editing view is the outline view. Nodes in this map can be expanded and collapsed, and they are labeled according to type. Here again, new nodes can be created, and existing ones can be edited using the right pane. Nodes can also be added directly to the outline using the button at the bottom of the selected section. The final feature we'll look at is the settings page. The name and description of the competency can be edited here. Additionally, users can be added to the project at three levels of permission. Administrators have full access and can add collaborators. Active collaborators have full editing privileges but cannot add collaborators. And passive collaborators can browse and add comments but cannot make edits. The passive collaborator level is designed for industry collaborators. And those are the major features of Talc available in this initial release. In the next couple of releases, we plan to add assessments, API, goals, progress tracking, and a basic adaptive engine. For more detailed information, check out Talc's GitHub page. Further in the future, we hope to include a more robust adaptive engine, version control, competency sharing, and other features that will enable more precise and flexible adaptive implementations. Most importantly, since this project is open source, we are actively searching for partners. Potential partners may come from academia, such as researchers or institutions interested in CBE, industry, such as human resource departments, or vendors who are providing products to CBE clients. Benefits of collaboration include being able to influence the MVP, helping us evangelize CBE, creating LMS integrations to support CBE programs, and helping to build a knowledge network around CBE. If you are interested in learning more, take a look at the EE Lab page or check out the project on GitHub.
Thanks for watching.